So everything in the world is made up of atoms. Like a rock is made out of atoms. And even us, we're made out of atoms. Trees, animals, tables, computers, everything in the world is made out of atoms. Well, you see, what makes us different from compared to something that is non-living is the rearrangement of the atoms, how the atoms are put into a uh, structure. So our atoms are rearranged differently. That's why we're alive versus something else. So how the atoms are rearranged is one thing, but how the atoms interact with each other in our body, that's another thing, which leads us to chemical reaction. Chemical reactions are a process that change a set of chemicals from one into another. For example, like digestions and breaking down poisons and other chemical reactions inside our body. So here are a few examples of chemical reaction. These are not in our body, but they're chemical reactions. So basically, you have something on the left, molecules or atoms, elements, and then the arrow sign represents they change into something else because something happened. Well, don't focus too much on what they are, but rather just the simple stuff. So in a chemical reaction, the things on the left-hand side are called reactant, and the things on the right-hand side are called products. It's kind of like math. And it's kind of like cooking too. So on the left-hand side, you have the flours and the materials you need to make a cookies, and then the products are the yummy cookies. Also, those are chemical reactions too. Now, chemical reaction comes in two types, the one that releases energy and the one that absorbs energy. The one that releases energy, for example, like you're cold and you're shivering and you're releasing heat, these are spontaneous, that means they happen by themselves. They don't need anything or anyone to help them. Now, the other one, the one that absorbs energy, they're not spontaneous, so they need an energy source. For example, like you want to turn on a flashlight, you need battery in order to turn on the flashlight. That's absorbing energy to turn on the flashlight. Now in your body, for example, like digestions, in order to digest the food, your body needs some kind of energy store, something to help you to break down the food. Now, chemical reaction that absorbs energy in order to happen, like digestion of food, if it doesn't have a source to help it out, it's going to take forever to digest the food. Yeah, so it needs something inside our body to help us digest the food. No, not Superman. In our body, we have something to help us, what they call enzymes. Yeah, enzymes can be seen like Superman. They're like uh, teeny tiny workers inside our body that help us get things done. So there's four types of macromolecules, carbohydrate, lipids, protein, nucleic acids. And under proteins, there are many types of proteins, but one of those type of proteins, which is designed to help us, is called enzyme. So that's what enzymes are. Enzymes are proteins. So there are chemical reactions in our body, and then the enzyme helps speed up the chemical reaction, meaning it makes things happen faster rather than at a slower pace. It gets things done. So here in this picture, this graph, um, the red one represents a chemical reaction in our body or something. And if it does no enzyme, it's going to take a long time, days or even weeks. And then, like for example, digestions, we don't have days or weeks. We need to get it done soon. And then the blue represents if you do have enzyme in your body, you will get things done much faster, even like half the rate or sometimes even faster than that. Yeah, yeah. Enzymes are like tutors and teachers. So like if you study on your own, yeah, you'll still get things done, but it's just going to take you a longer time to understand the material. Whereas if you have like a tutors or a teachers, they help you learn the material and you're like, oh, okay, I get it. So you get things done much faster. You learn faster. If people don't have the enzyme, sometimes they could get sick or even serious condition. They could be critically um, damaged or even sometimes even death. For example, according to PubMed, a disease condition called PKU, it's a condition, it's a rare condition that certain babies are born without the ability to break down an amino acid called phenylalanine. So it doesn't have the enzyme in order to break down that amino acid. Just something so simple that everybody has, but 
if this baby doesn't have it, the baby could grow up with lots of symptoms, for example, like mental disorder, um, delayed social skill, and uh, mental retar retardation, seizures, and all these other horrible things that can happen just because of one simple missing enzyme. Yeah, it does kind of suck, but the good news is it's kind of rare condition, so it doesn't happen that often. Also, there's lots of other things that can uh, cause big people to be harmed, like bacteria and uh, not eating properly or the environment or other stuff too besides just enzyme alone. Missing enzyme. Also, um, how poison work, for example, it's related to enzyme. Sure, so if you want to know how poison work, like how snakes use poisons and how it affects our enzyme or our body, well, do check it out on the other videos.